trying out new art supplies. I just got this package from the Yellow Violet House from Shopee. They sell paints and brushes, so if you want to go ahead and check them out, I will be leaving the link in the description. The owners are so nice. They adjusted the shipping options for me because their usual shipping options do not deliver to, to my address. They also included a lot of freebies. There are different watercolor papers in there, some stationery you can use for journaling, which is so cute. I got this silver black velvet brush that I've been dying to try and the Prima Confections Essence Palette. Juicy Ink, if you guys know her on YouTube, is actually the one who made me buy both of these. I love watching her videos, but also I just miss watercolors. So I took some time to watch watercolor YouTube videos to get me excited for them again and so now I can finally paint with these. If you guys have seen my skin tone tutorial video, you know that I've tried their complexion set and, and I wasn't too thrilled with the color options for that one. I did really like the watercolors themselves. That's why I was looking into their other options because I really like the watercolors. I love that they're so vibrant and they're very easy to lift from the pans. I also really just love the packaging. Um, I love this tin container. The pans are all secure in there and there are two mixing palettes so very convenient. You can take this to travel with you and if you have a water brush then you're already set to paint. For the first watch, you see me having trouble trying to put the paint onto the paper and that's because I'm really not used to soft brushes. My usual ones that I normally go for, the artist's loft brushes, uh, they're also soft but they keep their shape very well. They're not too bendy like this one. This one is too easy to bend, requires a lot more control. So once I got over that initial hurdle, I was already in love with this brush. Um, it's so fun to paint with. You get a lot of variety in your strokes, so you can go for your wide strokes because it is a round brush and the way the bristles are, it's just, it just makes it so easy. And you guys, check out these bottom colors. Look how beautiful they are. Even before swatching these, you can already see the colors are so dark. So that's very promising with watercolors. That means that when they are used, they're gonna be nice and saturated colors. And I really love that. I do want to point something out. If you look at the textures on these pans, they're so weird. It doesn't really feel sandy when you use it, but just in the pan, if you guys can see, it looks so strange. It doesn't look that pretty, but yeah, like I've said, you don't notice it when you paint with them, so that's fine. But like I said, I really love all of these colors. I love the different browns and I especially love the darker colors, but the only thing that's missing the only color I miss is maybe a red or something that looks close to a red. I think that would complement the set really well. Um, there is a color called Adore and it looks like a reddish brown but it's actually more of a maroon. So that means there's also some blue in there. I don't know if I'm being too picky for wanting a red. Um, it's, not, it's not just because it's a primary color. Well, not really a primary color because that's magenta, but you guys know what I mean. I do think that part of the reason why I'm missing a red for this palette especially is because I've had two sets from this brand and neither of those really have a red. I mean, so maybe I'm just missing a red because of that. I even understand the sky blue, which normally would turn me off because I don't like light pastel colors on my watercolor set, but I do think that most of the colors in this set is pretty solid and it kind of keeps its aesthetics really well but this gray <laughs> this gray i don't think i've ever seen a gray in any watercolor sets why is there a gray <laughs> I, don't, I don't i just think that it's weird that it's there but what i do know about these sets and what made me accept all of the colors even the gray one is that 
these palettes or sets they're not meant to be your primary palette so this can't be your only watercolor palette this is supposed to be a side palette that you can bring out to inspire a piece something where the colors inspire you to paint not necessarily something that you get out if you already have a color palette in your mind and you want to bring it to life <laughs> so once i really understood that i can then fully use the palette to its full advantage i felt like So this piece that you see me doing, I didn't really do a lot of mixing the colors, I just let these colors shine as true to themselves as they can. It's a relatively simple piece, uh, it took me about 30 minutes to do all in all, but I still really like it. I feel like I went to save for the skin tones, I could have pushed it more on that end, but it was such an enjoyable process for me that it didn't really bother me I wasn't even tempted to go over it after i did the inking I just really like the chill vibes <laughs> while i was painting this It's so weird that I keep on saying I don't use a lot of greens in my painting when if you look at all of my other works, you do see a lot of green in there. When I, when I look back, it's actually blue that I don't paint with that much because as soon as I lay down this sky blue, I kind of took me aback. It's just not something that I'm used to seeing in my paintings. By the way, you guys, this brush is amazing. It held its own against the rougher texture of my Fabriano Artistico paper, and this one is called Pressed. It was something that I was worried about because it is so soft that I didn't know if it was gonna penetrate through the textures of the paper, but I didn't even no notice it while I was using it. So that's amazing. I will be using this more, but maybe not so much in videos because they're not really that affordable and it's it feels like more of an investment than the normal brushes that i use i'll still be using it but maybe not as often towards the end i did force two of my colors from the complexion set in there so i think it was redwood that is closer to what i meant with the red but not quite and this gold because one i planned on using it for this piece and two it just never really made sense to me to have a gold in a complexion set i don't know why it had a um, metallic color in there and i did end this piece with my brush pens because i feel like there wasn't enough layers for the whole piece to just be a watercolor painting I needed that inking in there to finish off the details and what i'm really excited with is to use this on non-watercolor papers and i will be using that next time when i take you guys to sketch with me because i miss just sketching i miss just no pressure sketching um I'm gonna be using this watercolor and my highlighters, maybe, we'll see. So thank you guys for making it to the end of this video and I'll see you again soon.